After weeks of in-school suspension due to his hairstyle, one Troy ISD student's hair has been tentatively approved and he can return back to class. Our Drill Baker tells us more. Mattis can finally rejoin his friends and classmates at Troy ISD. Well, kind of. 11-year-old Maddox Cozart is back in the classroom at Troy ISD after more than two weeks of in-school suspension for his hairstyle. But he's not back because of a change to the dress code. He still has a braid, but he laid on it, so it's down instead of, you know, up. And now they're saying that that's appropriate. His mother, Hope, says she'll have to rebraid his hair soon and can't guarantee his hairstyle will come out the same way. She and her husband, Dante, say they've tried to work with district officials to handle Maddox's situation to permanently change the dress code so it's inclusive for all hairstyles. But little progress has been made. We keep meeting with people who aren't the ones who are pulling my son out of class. We've gotten a lot of excuses. But no, no real solutions like we're going to be working on it. It's going to be voted on, but not we're we're going to change it. And now Maddox's father isn't allowed to come on school premises. The veteran says it's just not fair. I'm allowed to go fight and die for my country. That's OK. But if I stand up and fight for my son, it's a problem. Tuesday, the Native American and African American student and his family will testify at the state capitol this week in favor of the Crown Act, which bans hair discrimination on a state level. So Maddox and all kids can wear their hair the way they see fit. We reached out to Troy ISD officials to comment, but we didn't hear back. In Bell County, Jarrell Baker, 25 News. In September of last year, the ACLU of Texas sent letters to hundreds of school districts throughout Texas asking that they re-examine dress and grooming code policies that are discriminatory. On that list was Troy, as well as several other districts in our area.